and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dino Lolly. Today we're coming to you from the Sorghum Mill Christmas Tree Farm in Edmond. This is a great place to come and get your own Oklahoma grown Christmas tree. Located at 7121 Midwest Lane in Edmond, you'll find seven different types of trees you can pick and cut down yourself or check out those they've already harvested. And while you're trimming the tree, why not consider giving the gift of a unique trip on one of Oklahoma's most beautiful lakes? And when we say on, we mean on. Tina McGarry takes us to the floating cabins at Lake Murray where we can sleep and float. Known for its crystal blue water and spectacular scenery, Lake Murray is one of Oklahoma's most pristine lakes. And atop that beautiful spring-fed lake, you'll find Lake Murray floating cabins where guests can stay and play right on the water. What we offer is a different experience than the typical camping experience. Um, we do have cabins that are fully furnished, fully equipped, all cookware provided, linens provided, everything that you would have in your own home, but it is floating on the water. So you do have the capability to pull your boat up, pull up jet skis, um, you can fish or swim right off the docks, which kind of makes us a unique experience. That unique experience is what brings Jerry Goodson and his family back year after year. Lake Murray floating cabins have become a family tradition and a favorite multi-generational vacation spot. It's a terrific vacation for the entire family. What I love about it is that your five-year-old or your 70-year-old, there's a spot for everyone, whether it be barbecuing on the grill together, going out in the boat, which you have just immediate access to. It's just a day-long event, and, it, and it's really relaxing, but yet it's great family fun. A great getaway where you can relax, have fun, and make memories. There are 21 floating cabins, different sizes and styles, each one homey, clean, and comfortable. The cabins really range from various sizes, kind of what you need. If you want to bring your family and your friends, we have cabins that will accommodate that. Our largest cabin has four bedrooms, five bathrooms, and additional eight queen-size beds uh, that are a part of that cabin. And then for the couple that maybe has four people in their party, we have small cabins that can accommodate that. And then groups of cabins that are put together that if a, uh, two couples and their families want to stay, we can accommodate them in the same area. We have a little bit of everything. So we have anything from what we call our pods, which is just a one bedroom cabin, um, all the way up to our atrium lodge, which can hold up to 18. So we have eight person cabins, uh, cabins for two couples and kids. So we have a little bit of everything to offer depending um, on the size of group coming. Lake Murray floating cabins are open year round and the off season is a great time to get away. Families can enjoy crisp mornings, gorgeous scenery, and comfortable cabins at reduced rates. It's a great time to come to the lake. You don't think of coming to the lake in the winter, but the winter and the fall is the most beautiful time at Lake Murray that there is. Just to come out, spend the day on the lake in the winter, you will not believe how relaxing it is and enjoyable that that, that time can be. The cabins are very nice. They have a lot of amenities. They have granite countertops, the stainless steel, uh, you can go in and take a bath at night or a shower. So it's just, it's not roughing it at all. I mean, it's cable TV, all the things you have at home, you have right here in, to your access. So it has everything you need. You just bring your food, your drink, and you're ready to go. All the comforts of home with a view crafted by Mother Nature. On beautiful Lake Murray, I'm Tina McGarry, Discovering Oklahoma. You can find out more about reserving a cabin by heading to TravelOK.com and typing floating cabins into the search bar. A reminder, the cabins are heated in the winter months. Another fun activity to try, even when it's a little cool out, is horseback riding. That's right, and not too far from this very spot is a place where you can try your hand at climbing up in the saddle. Shelly Mills is going to take us to Silver Wind Stables. So we just make sure um, that where the saddle goes and where the girth goes underneath is mm -hmm. super clean. It's been a few years, but getting back in the saddle was a story that took me down memory lane to my childhood here in Oklahoma. Only this time I was getting one of the horses at Silverwind Stables ready for a ride. Vegas, the horse, and I were quickly ready to go, joining our guide, Dina Allen, and fellow riders, Peyton and Claire. We go on a lot of trail rides. It's really fun. We set off to explore a portion of the 700 plus acres here at Silverwind Stables. 
some beautiful scenic views, lots of awesome animals to see out there most of the time. Ashley McKenzie is the owner here. Silverwind Stables, located in North Edmond near Waterloo and North May Avenue, offers trail rides for riders of all ages. Our trails are definitely beginner friendly. Dina led us through the trails, exploring the outdoors. It's so fun. While groups of as many as 20 can be accommodated, Ashley says groups of five to six are the best size. But this experience isn't just for groups. They now offer a more romantic setting as well. We also just started offering date trail rides. So you can go out for something different for a date. You can go out and we'll set up a picnic out in the field. A secluded picnic dinner just to stop along the trail ride, even catering to a recent client's request for a private steak dinner. Most of the horses used for the trails are of a breed called Ponies of America. They're bred for kids and they're bred to have really good stamina and temperaments. However, Silverwind has horses for more experienced riders as well. As we wrapped up our trail ride, we trotted up a hill and back across the road. A fun end to a ride that was full of great views and memorable moments. Shelly Mills, Discover Oklahoma. You can sign up online for trail rides at silverwindstables.com or give them a call. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. We don't sell the average candy. Stuff those Christmas stockings with the most unique candy in Oklahoma. Definitely the best thing on the menu is a catfish dinner. Um, they have excellent catfish here. Plus, dinner worth the drive will take you to one of the oldest diners in the state. It's a quaint, southern-type bed and breakfast. Plus, the historic spot in the middle of all the action in Norman. We'll take you there a little bit later, right here on Discover Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Department of Agritourism salutes Martin Bird Tree Farm in Tuttle, a great place to pick your Oklahoma-grown Christmas tree. Check out the new DiscoverOklahomaTV.com. See stories you might have missed, catch up on entire episodes, or send us an idea for the next place we should visit. Do it all at DiscoverOklahomaTV.com. Welcome back to Sorghum Mill Christmas Tree Farm. We're getting a look at trees that may grace the living rooms of folks all across Oklahoma. And of course, after you trim the tree, you have to hang the stocking. That's right. <laughs> and with that, come shopping for Christmas candy, and I've got the perfect spot for us. Let's head to Mansfields in Marlow. What was your favorite candy as a child? Bottle caps, candy buttons, or did you beg for candy cigarettes? Many of those old-timey candies are hard to come by these days, but not at Mansfields in Marlow. We don't sell the average candy. Mansfields is a candy and frozen yogurt shop specializing in the novelty candies of yesteryear. And all of this was Nicholas Mansfield's idea. Just an eight-year-old boy who loved candy. I go to the Lake of the Ozarks quite often and there's an old country store with old time candy and he loves it. And that was his idea he wanted to bring to Marlowe and to this building. The building where Mansfields is located was built in the early 1900s and suffered a devastating fire before the Mansfields took over. My husband had brought my son to see it. He happened to have him with him that day. And uh, we didn't think we were going to do anything with the building. It was just too big of a project. But my son came up with the idea that he wanted to build, uh, rebuild it and make a candy store. Now in high school, Nicholas hopes his family's candy shop can offer something unique in this southwest Oklahoma town. Most candy that gets sold around Marlowe or even anywhere near is just candy bars or just modern kind of stuff. So you'd have to go to the city for actual candy stores that would just have candy. So I thought, why not get novelty candies and some food and bring it down here so people don't have to go that far just to get that. I definitely wanted the novelty candies, like some that most stores don't, you know, sell today. So I thought it'd be really nice since Marlowe doesn't have anywhere or any candy stores close to it that I'd bring it down here. Mansfield has oodles of candy. Everything from wax lips and O. Henry bars to 75 flavors of taffy. Billy Lewis comes to Mansfield's for a sweet treat and a walk down memory lane. Remember getting these and playing with the, oh, we've never smoked, but we pretended we did back in the 50s. <laughs> we did do that. If my brother were alive today, he would eat nine of them, at least nine. We ate a lot of the taffy, a lot of that. Um, sugar babies were, oh hey, these were one of my favorites. It reminds me of when I was not 73 years old, but when I was, you know, nine and 10 and had 
wonderful parents and a wonderful house. And then I grew up and married a wonderful man. <laughs> and then we share all this stuff. In addition to the candy, you can grab yourself a cup of self-serve frozen yogurt with all the toppings or enjoy some goodies from the bakery, all handmade by Anita and her team. The no-bake cookies are always uh, a big seller. Uh, everybody loves those, chocolate chips and snickerdoodles and sugar cookies. Some of the bonbons and chocolates, uh, I think I just, we have just kind of created some of those as we went along. So take a step back in time and enjoy the sweet treats of yesteryear. You'll feel like, well, a kid in a candy store. I really love seeing the faces bright up in older or elderly when, I mean, they haven't seen these candies in, you know, years when they were kids and now they can come back and buy them. I don't know any place nearby that you can find some of this stuff. And I think that's, that's the big reason. We're proud of that. Mansfield Candy is open Monday through Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Monday through Wednesday, and they're open late Thursday, Friday, and Saturday until 8. You'll find them at 109 North 2nd Street in Marlowe. And despite what kids say, I know mine have tried it before, you <laughs> cannot make a meal out of candy alone. No, you can't, but you can fill up on home cooking at this next spot in Guthrie. Angela Buckaloo takes us to Stacy's place. Before Oklahoma was a state and Guthrie was still the capital of the territory, stood this building, which has been home to many a restaurant over the years, but is now home to perhaps the homiest of them all. Stacy's place. Growing up, I used to do a lot of cooking with my grandma and a lot of baking with her and things like that. My mom always cooked dinner and so, and I've always had a passion for food. Um, I, I actually kind of feel like this is what I was made to do. This is Stacy Smith, the owner and cook and well, everything. It's her place and she wants every customer to feel like it's their place too. Like we're all sitting down at home to share a meal just a down home, just some place where family could get together and come visit and have a good dinner and just kind of hang out and just, and you knew that it was just almost like what your grandma would make or your mom would make, something like that. Truly, the feel you get at Stacy's Place is one of stepping back in time when a home-cooked meal was the only option anyone had. And it's good, solid comfort food and everything is cooked there using recipes passed down in her family and tweaked here and there when need be. There's a little bit of everything on the menu. It's one of the good things about coming to Stacy's is, is if you want an onion burger or if you want uh, like the chicken and waffles like I got today, uh, you kind of get those things that are, are common but some things that aren't so common. But definitely the best thing on the menu is the catfish dinner. Um, they have excellent catfish here. Stacy's is definitely one of my favorites, my, my wife's favorite, and, and also they have the, the fried green tomatoes. Where do you get those at a restaurant? Here at Stacy's. Tell me about your desserts. There's a lot of them. There's, <laughs> um, everything is made in-house. Um, we have, I've mastered bread pudding, so my bread pudding right now, I'm raving about that because it's probably the best one I've ever made. <laughs> um, and it's not just the fabulous food, it's the history of the building. Built in 1891, you feel like the walls can talk. And in a way, they are alive. Because embedded in the mural when you walk in the front doors are patrons of the building, past and present. The atmosphere does take you back in time. Very little has been touched in the restaurant since it was built 126 years ago. You can almost hear the spurs as they clank down the wooden floors. A weary cowboy coming in for a bite or just waiting for a train. In the back, a reception and meeting room that seats 80. Stacy's place is easy to get to, only about five minutes off I-35. It's worth a visit to feed your tummy and your self. A lot of people have different definitions of soul food. To me, it's just whatever makes your heart and your soul feel good. And that, you know, that's, that's family and it's just, it's warmth involved in it. And that's what I want. I want every dish that goes out of our kitchen, whether you have a salad, a chicken sandwich, a pizza, I want it to feel like somebody made it with love. In Guthrie, I'm Angela Buckaloo for Discover Oklahoma. Stacy's Place is at 113 West Harrison in Guthrie. They're open Monday through Saturday for lunch and dinner, closed on Sundays.
up next on Discover Oklahoma. It's got probably the best bed in the, uh, in the place too, so we have to wake up people sometimes because they get so comfortable. The bed and breakfast so comfortable you'll sleep right through the alarm. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Plus the old adage that's kept this Dakota business turning out great food for decades. We'll take you there coming up a little bit later on Discover Oklahoma. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Tree-lined fairways, stunning terrain, unspoiled nature. Score amazing golf deals at Oklahoma State Parks and stay for some cool weather adventure. Hike the trails amid spectacular scenery, cozy up around the fire, or play around in our unique courses. On weekdays, you can stay and play starting at just $69. You get one night of lodging, a round of golf, and a sleeve of balls. Visit TravelOK.com slash stay and play and come see for yourself. Another look around the Sorghum Mill Christmas Tree Farm just outside of Edmond. If you're shopping for a real tree this year, we hope you'll consider buying one grown in Oklahoma or sold by an Oklahoma-owned farm. And after you've decked your halls, you might need to steal away for a quick trip at a relaxing bed and breakfast. And Tiffany Tatro found one in Norman that's been around for over 100 years. It's time to check out the Holmberg House. The Holmberg House is a hidden gem here on Campus Corner. The next time you need somewhere to stay, just look for the blue door. It's a quaint southern type bed and breakfast where I try to uh, be known for uh, great food and um, just really trying to make sure that we take care of our guests as best we can. The Holmberg House is more than 100 years old. Originally built in 1914 for Dr. Holmberg, OU's first music professor. The house is now a bed and breakfast, but still holds the vintage vibe. There's a lot of um, original most, mostly everything is original, you will see. Original floors, woodwork, all that, yeah, woodwork, cabinet, cabinets, built-in cabinetry, all of that's original, been kept in very good condition. While a lot of original work has been maintained, the Holmberg house has been renovated to make it state-of-the-art with four rooms in the main house and an outside cottage. Each room has its own unique features, like the Blue Danube Suite, a favorite among guests. It's got a big king-size bed, uh, a jacuzzi tub, a uh, shower, lots of room to just spread out and, uh, and just uh, relax. So it's got probably the best bed in the, uh, in the place too. So we have to wake up people sometimes because they get so comfortable. But on game day, the place to be is the outdoor cottage with its queen size bed, separate bathroom, kitchen area, and private entrance. It's loud and you're right there on campus corner and everyone wants that. They want that. What really sets the Holmberg House apart is the hospitality you'll receive and the homemade food you'll eat. We're doing uh, different eggs benedict, uh, waffles, gingerbread waffles, not just normal waffles, things like that, vanilla French toast, things like that. Really want to be known for food. The spacious front porch is a big hit among guests. Many sit outside and soak up the atmosphere. It's just a great hangout spot for our guests. Uh, a lot of people will just come out here, have their coffee in the mornings. Um, we haven't served breakfast out here yet, but uh, you know, if we could, that, that'd be great. Rooms fill up fast, so the owners warn, make your reservations soon. Game day gets booked up fast. Yeah. We're already, we've been booked for the season since the summertime. We've already and got some for next year. We've already got 2018. Booked, so. Not even knowing what time yeah. the games are, when some of the games are, we, <laughs> like, I've already rented. With so much to offer and personalized hospitality, the Holmberg House is a must stay in Norman. Tiffany Tatro, Discover Oklahoma. You can find all sorts of bed and breakfast options on our website. Just go to TravelOK.com and use the search tool. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. They don't have to get dressed up to come in or anything like that. Um, but they do love, they love our food. It's, it's home cooking, you know. Nothing fancy, but boy, is it fantastic food inside this Eastern Oklahoma eatery. We'll show you where it is when Discover Oklahoma continues. Want to discover even more about the show? Go online and watch Discover Oklahoma anywhere, anytime. Catch up on missed episodes, track down interesting locations, and submit your own story ideas. Start exploring today at discoveroklahomatv.com. Oklahoma Today magazine brings you stunning photography and authentic award-winning stories of home from Oklahoma. The only magazine that covers the entire state, Oklahoma Today showcases what we love about Oklahoma, bringing to you the very best of its people, places, culture, history, and of course, its legendary food. 
This holiday season, give the gift of Oklahoma Today to family and friends for just $14.95. Visit tvoffer.oklahomatoday.com. Feel time slow down and your spirit come alive on a cool weather getaway at an Oklahoma State Park. Hike the trails amid spectacular scenery. Cast your line in gorgeous lakes and rivers. Cozy up around the fire or settle in under the stars. Book your stay at a state park cabin or lodge. Check in Sunday or Monday and get your fourth night absolutely free. Visit travelok.com slash fourth night and come see for yourself. To the land, and, and when we belong to his land, so when we say, Yay! Yeah! 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 We only we say, say you're doing fine. Oklahoma. 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 Come see for yourself. We've had a great time today at the Sorghum Mill Christmas Tree Farm. We have, and once you have your tree picked out, may we suggest a nice drive for a great place for lunch or dinner. It's time to come with me now to Chakota and June's Restaurant. I'm proud that I have my mom's name on my business and that it's done so well. I'm gonna get emotional. Um, it's, it's been a good life, you know? And life continues to be good for Kathy. And by the way, this is June herself. Kathy's mom, who started all this years ago, and now the restaurant bears her name. As for the food, they are known for so many tasty items, but more than anything else, when you mention June's restaurant, it's all about the boneless chicken. My mom bought a recipe off of a man that was just going around selling recipe for this chicken. Like I said, we, we cut it up ourselves, and we batter it, and we flour it, and deep fry it, all in special secret sauces. <laughs> So um, then we also do a, an amazing chicken fried steak. Um, we get breast cube steak in, we hand batter it, flour it, deep fry that. Um, we're also known for our burgers. We've got great char grill burgers. And then I would have to say probably our sandwiches. We, we make our own chicken salad. We make our own egg salad, our tuna salad, all from scratch. We do that at least twice a week <laughs> because we go through so much. But um, our boneless chicken is is the key here. Well, if you're coming to June, you better have the chicken. But I, I have boneless and I have boneless and and salad about every time. It's amazing, amazing. I've uh, been eating here since it wasn't here. It was in another place. Uh, Love June's chicken. Everything we've always had here is good. We usually get boneless chicken. That's kind of the specialty, and uh, it's usually come back for that. The chicken is always cook the same every time. Nothing ever changes. It's good and crispy and just small bites that you can just eat all day. <laughs> but you get more than great food at June's. You can enjoy a very comfortable, cozy, and relaxed setting in which to eat. Most of all, I think, I think the people love the atmosphere here. They feel like they're at home. They feel like they can be at home and be themselves. They don't have to get dressed up to come in or anything like that. But they do love, they love our food. It's, it's home cooking, you know, and it gives them that comfort feeling, that comfort food. Um, we haven't changed the menu a whole lot because um, we do have limited space, but it's basically because people like what we do. It's just right. It's like sitting at, sitting down for a Thanksgiving dinner with everybody you know. And man oh man do the customers love the food. Many have been coming here for years, some for generations. Well, the food's awfully good. I enjoy it. I have been for, you know, I've been coming here for like 50 years, 47 years, so, and my kids are. But it's all for the people. And even the folks that, you know, Kathy owns it now, June had it before that, and you just love them, and they just hug you, and they do things, they do things for the community. But the people that work here are the same way. I've been here 17 years, and I think anytime anyone comes to Chicota and talks about eating, they want to know where June's is. If they're coming to a ball game, they're going to come to June's on Friday night. Kathy also attributes her success to her staff, including one lady who's been with her for 25 years, Deanna Fish. Kathy brings uh, unity to all of us. You know, when she's here, we're all united together as one big group. And when she's away, I try to 
hold that together for her. And so she keeps us all grounded together as a team and as a group, you know, and she's our go-to person. Kathy has a couple of different philosophies. One is their logo that says love, peace, and chicken grease, but she also says you have to be consistent and... If it's not broke, don't fix it. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A big thank you to the folks here at the Sorghum Mill Christmas Tree Farm for hosting us this week. You'll find them at 7121 Midwest Lane in Edmond. They're open every day from the day after Thanksgiving until December 23rd. They're here 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on the weekends and 1 to 7 during the week. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, we're headed out on the Mother Road. Come along as we visit the Route 66 Museum. Plus, one of the best places to get your baked goods for the holidays. The sweet story behind the little spot in Medicine Park. It's all coming up next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.